Well, at the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close. I hope that you are here. Remember that I gave you homework and welcome. This is the second part. Here I will show you how we are going to make the last rows, how we are going to decorate it. And if you want, you can put the sleeves and I will show you how. Thank you so much for watching again. And if you missed the first part here in the description box below, I will share the link. Well, let's continue with the second part. In this row we are going to continue reducing and only here we are going to make one half double crochet. Then 5 chains and what we made below we are going to repeat it again. The thing that will change is that here we have one stitch in, in the next row we will make one and one here. And also the V then the 3 stitches and in the 3 stitches in the other side too with one chain between and the ones in the middle with 3 chains between. Okay, I will make it with you. So here let's complete the five chains. Then we are going to make the three first double crochet, remember, with one chain between. So here we have two and three. Then one, two, three chains. Then here a double crochet. Then three chains. A double crochet. And as you could see here, we have two double crochets, right? Uh, okay. So here we have three and then one and two double crochet, then one, two, three chains, and here we are going to make the V, the double crochet, then one, two, three chains, and again in the same space a double crochet to make the V. Then what we are going to repeat what we make in this side to make it in the other side too. And the second double crochet right here. 3 chains and then the 3 double crochet so 1 here, 1 chain, 1 next to it in the next space I mean 1 chain and then 1 outside then we are going to make 5 chains and 1 stitch here and like this we are going to continue the whole row ok so we are going to repeat well now in the next row we are going to slip until here to start with the next row, ok? So we are going to slip one until this chain, so I will show you. We are going to slip one here, then two, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening with this hook. Ok, two, three, four, five, and right here we are going to make these three double crochets, so we are going to go up with three chains, then we are going to make the one chain that goes between, and then one double crochet next to it, so here we have two, then one chain, and here we have the third double crochet. Then here we are going to continue making what we made here, so 3 chains, a double crochet, 3 chains, a double crochet, and 3 chains, and a double crochet, and here again the V. And then remember what we made in one side, we are going to repeat it in the other side. So see you when we finish to make this segment. Well, so here we are, we finished, we have the 3 stitches of the beginning, then here we have the V, and remember that we must have the same number in one side than in the other, so please check. Now that we are here, we are going to make one chain, here we are finishing, and we will finish with the three stitches that we have to make. So now here we are going to close the leaf, we will jump and we will make a double crochet right in the next space, and we will continue with the next segment and we are going to repeat what we have just made. So now take a look, I want to show you how we close. So we have three in this side and three in the other side too and now here we close the pineapple or the leaf, how can we call it? And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, here we are going to close, we won't make any stitch between and we are going to make three in one side and in the other and we will repeat the segment. Well, here we are at the end of the row, also we are going to finish closing one leaf and we are just going to make this. We are going to join the first with the last one and we are going to slip one to close and now we are going to also slip to start right here. 
and we will start as we were making these uh, three stitches at the beginning so three so this will be the first double crochet right so from here we will, we will start making only double crochet we will uh, avoid this triangle that we have here we are going to make all the same with three chains between so we are going to make the three chains between then a double crochet then three chains then in the next space a double crochet then three chains and like this and here where we have the V again B and then we will repeat what we have just made here so see you here because I will show you how we are going to continue and we have to keep with the shape with this triangle here and this one below so well we are here and now remember that we are going to make only stitches with three chains between so here we made three chains so here we are supposed to make the last double crochet of this segment and here we are supposed to make the first one we won't make any stitch here in this uh, triangle because we want to keep it in the bottom so we are only going to make the uh, double crochets of the sides so here we are going to make one then we are going to jump and make the next double crochet right there you see and this is how we are going to go from one same segment to other and we are going to have one uh, reverse B right so now you see so now we are going to continue making the next segment and see you again there where we are about to jump to one segment to other so we can review and make it together okay remember that here we are going to make a V and see you here at the end to jump remember well so here we have we finished remember that we are going to jump we won't make any stitch here here we have the V and then we are going to make the V in reverse so for to have that we are going to jump and go to the next segment like this you see well like this we are going to continue the whole row and see you at the end because I will show you how we are going to make it because it will change a little bit okay so remember uh, see you at the end of the row so well here we finish remember that we are going to finish with the reverse <laughs> V and we are going to slip on to close now to start with the next row we are going to slip one two and right here we will go up with three chains plus three chains between double crochets right so then the next double crochet three chains then double crochet and like this we are going to continue and and well at the end we will finish here right but for now let's finish this first segment and see you here to make a review okay so well here we finished to make this segment and here we are going to make a reverse B so we are going to jump to the next space and we will have the reverse B well like this we are going to continue making more rows following these same instructions until we get the long of the poncho that we want okay so I will tell you at the end how many rows I made so far you must have something like this so well here we are remember that here is where we join these stitches where we close the leaf so from here to the bottom I count and I have 11 rows so well we remember that we have to check that we keep with the shape with the triangles and if you want if you want a poncho look you can leave it like this and make an extra uh, stitch for the edge I will show you how but first I want to show you how I transform it I put in this poncho sleeves and also I think that the volume of the poncho is perfect so the sleeves will be uh, perfect for it so I want to show you uh, how many leaves I have so here I have one two three four five and six so this is only the front I'm counting the uh, leaves from the back we must have 12 at the end so taking this into account we are going to divide okay we must leave the most uh, extent area for the body and then the rest for the leaves so I use one triangle here from the side one complete triangle in the front and in the back and one half of it 
So in the sides I have one B here and one B here and then in front and in the back I have one reverse B. So I keep with the shape of the triangles, right? And also it kind of had the belt shape, right? So it's perfect and this final edge that I made I will also use it for the rest of the body. So I will show you how to. And well, if you want, you can use a different stitch for the sleeves. I wanted to continue with this stitch, but you can make the elastic stitch that I have shown you in other videos, right? I love how it looks. Also, it will depend that you sometimes will have a different number of segments than me. So take that into account. Uh, but if you have the same number, we are going to make the same, right? So we are going to take one complete triangle and the half of it and we will have one B and then two reverse B, right? So we will continue with the shape of the poncho, this will be the body and here we will have the sleeves. So take that into account because according of how many segments you have it will change. So I will show you how many triangles do I have for the body, we won't count this. From here we have two, three, and this will be for the sleeves. So we have three triangles for the body in front and three in the back. And we'll remember while we have in one side we have to have it in the other side too. So one and a half for the sleeves and one and a half for the next sleeve. So put some markers to point it out where the sleeves will be and we will continue. So far I'm loving the result, I'm loving the stitch and also the combination. So well now um, we'll show you how we, we are going to make the sleeves and also how we are going to make the last stitch for the edge. And this is how the neck looks. And also once we iron this bread it will change a bit and it will look more awesome. So let's continue. Okay, so here we have the leaf, remember one complete triangle and the half of it. So now to join one side with the other, we are going to insert the hook taking both stitches and we are going to uh, place the new thread, in this case I will change color, I will use the uh, brown beige <laughs> that I have, right? So we are going to pass it through and here we are going to start and take the stitch. We will start with the stitch now that we close it. If you want you can make a knot there and continue. Then we will go up with 5 chains to make the V. So 3 for the double crochet and then 2 chains between and then the next double crochet and all of them in the same space. I want to show you and I didn't tell you that we made a small change, sorry, but from we joined and we closed the leaf, I continue making the double crochets, but instead of making the double crochets out of two crochet, I made them out of three. So it could look more long and the stitch can look better, right? And once you wear it, it will look perfect. So that's why I made this small change. If you want, you can make it too. And so I will continue making these double crochets out of the crochet for the sleeves too. So it can look more loose and you know the, the prey at the end will look so much better. It, would, it will flow better, right? So I will continue making then three chains, double crochet out of three crochet, then three chains. So well, basically we are going to continue the same. We are going to respect where we have the reverse V. We are going to repeat two and jump and here in the V we are going to make the V, reverse V and see you here. So look, here I finished the row, literally I follow the same instructions that I made for the rest of the poncho and here I'm about to close the row, I will finish with three chains and I will slip one to close. Then I'm going to slip one stitch more so I can start right in the top of the V so I can continue. So here inside I will slip one, I will go up with five chains, three for the double crochet and two chains of distance and in the same place I will make the uh, double crochet, remember, out of the crochet, so take one, two and three. Then it will be V over V and we are going to continue with the same instructions, right? So now look, 
We are going to continue making more rows. I will show you in this slip how many rows I've made. Please try on. So we have with the brown color 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and the last row of the edge. I will show you how we are going to make these shells and remember that this same stitch is the one that we are going to use it for the other slip and for the body too. So here I will show you how we are going to make it but it will be exactly the same as you could see here we made three chains, single crochet, three chains between shells. Ok so this is what we are going to make. So we will start in this space, we will take the stitch we will go up uh, with three chains first, one, and two, and three. Then in the next space, we will jump and we will start in the next space. We will make first a double crochet. We are going to make kind of parsley, right? So then three chains. We will come back where we have started. And right here, we are going to one and then turn over and take the next two. So this will be like the picot, right? So we are going to make this to have distance between, then a double crochet, then again three chains, we will come back where we started, and right there we are going to make again the picot, then in the next, um, in the same space, sorry, three double crochet, then the picot, take one and then take the last two, then a double crochet, then three chains, come back and make a picot. So here, or in the same uh, space we are going to make one, two, three, four, five double crochets, five with no I'm sorry, four with picots, and the last one without, then three chains, single crochet, three chains, and we will jump and in the next space again the parsley. And we'll also to review you can count how many spaces do you have between a parsley and parsleys, so you can have that in mind to make the same in the slips too and to have always the same distance okay so please be careful and put attention in the details remember that because of that your product will look different and will look amazing and will make the difference so let's continue let's finish to make the sleeve also to make the 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 stitch, this is stitch for the edge that we are going to use it for the sleeves and for the body too now when we finish, I will show you how we are going to make the and finish the neck. Well, for the neck, we are going to make the crab stitch, it's like the single crochet, but backwards. In this case, like the neck, I think, and in my opinion, it's a little bit close I won't reduce any space but if you try on and if you feel that the neck is too wide and you don't like it well here in this step you can skip some spaces to reduce even more but in my case I will continue respecting the stitches and I will make one in each space and like this is how I will finish the neck well now with this we finish I will iron using a protection on there very soft and gently remember to extend correct the product because this will mark and settle all the stitch so this will make the difference and once you iron it you can come back okay so please be careful in this step and now let's see how it looks Well, this is the end of the second part. I hope that you have enjoyed and that you have at the end an amazing result. I love how it looks. I love how I give it a twist and I change it and I put these sleeves. I, don't, I think it looks more modern. And if you want to leave it as a poncho too, I think it's an amazing idea. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to stay tuned for coming videos. Thank you so much for watching till the end and remember that here I leave the first part in the description box below. Thank you, bye!